Hello, we're here to review how to use the Builder Great Concrete plugin. As you can see, I have a drawing here. This has come from PlanSwift. The drawing is scaled, and the plugin is here. We're looking at the plugin all collapsed. In other words, all these top levels are the subjects that are in the plugin. And to use a plugin, you find the top level that you would like to use. You would hit the plus button, and then the individual assemblies underneath the title are coming in. Now the key to look for is this green button right here. So if I would like to take off this plugin right here, I would hit the green button and the dialog box pops up. The dialog box brings forth all the questions about this specific takeoff we are undergoing right now. Now I can change these values. So if my footing on this place is three foot, I can make that change. If I would like to have 4% concrete waste instead of 5, I can make that change. So at the top, you will see the specific questions about the takeoff that we're doing. At the lower side, you have the review breakdown structure, which you can turn on and off. Here we put in the breakouts of how you want the project organized. So I, we can say, this location, it belongs to building 11. It goes for 00, zero foundations on the floor and this work will be on straight time. Now I'm able to hit these buttons and put in this information because I previously um, typed it all out. So the first time you use it, you type it out. After that, the list is built for you. You can, you can just reuse those values over and over again. At the bottom, you'll have information about the color and the fill type, and this these lines will vary dependent if you're using uh, linear, count mode, or area mode. Once you click OK, you're now in that takeoff mode. So now I can quantify where I want to take all of this off. And I'm just going around this little area right here. And my purpose is not neat takeoff, nor is it to show you how to use PlanSwift. There's plenty of videos for that. Now, when you're done with your takeoff, you, you hit the Escape button, and it closes out that takeoff. And then you can come in and start looking for the next area that you would like to work on. And in this case, I'm going to do almost the same thing, but it's slightly different in that it's footings and walls together. So I open up this one. There's one assembly underneath. We can build more. I click the green button again. The dialog box pops up. You've seen this dialog box before, but these are two new questions. Wall height and the, and, and the wall width. So I can say this is a six foot wall and the wall width is eight inches. The breakouts I'm going to put in, this is built in 12. It still belongs to the foundations and it's still on straight time. I click OK and again, I'm in my takeoff mode. So now I can come in and quantify this takeoff for these foundations here. And when I'm complete, again, I click Escape and that takeoff is done. We'll look for one more assembly to do a little slab on grade in this area right here. Once again, you find the top level for the title of what you were looking for. You find the specific assembly that you're looking for. In this case, an interior slab on grade. You hit the green button. The dialog pops up. The questions will be slightly different, subject by subject by subject. In this case, we're, we'll say we want a five inch slab. Here's our concrete PSI. The breakouts are going to be filled in again. This time we're at 01 slab on grade. We have straight time. I click OK. And now as I do my takeoff, I'm in area mode and not linear mode. So you can see it's taken off my area. I click Escape and that is all done. Now this information is being stored and you can see that in the estimating area. Here is each of the assemblies that we've taken off. You have the plus and you can notice that you can see the detail of all the line items we have taken off. So here is for these continuous footings, the concrete, the concrete placement, the forms, the form labor, the strip and oil, the finish, the keyway, keyway labor, and the shape and grade of the footing.
And the second one is all of the same issues, except this concrete is for both the footings and the walls. But here's the footing placement, while, and then all these are for the footings until we get down to here. Here's the wall concrete placement, the wall forms material, wall forms labor, the strip and oil, curing, curing labor, top of wall finish. Notice that I put in here the location. You can come to the columns tab here and turn on and off the columns you would like to see. So we're looking at the CSI structures for the division, subdivision, and phase, and then in, in this case, the buildings. And then here's a slab on grade and all the specific labor and material information for the slab on grade. Now all of this information is also carried over into reports. And with the plugin, you get these reports, which allow you to use the breakdown structures that we talked about. So you can get reports by location, where we can see the work in building 11 and 12. And if I open up here and I go to the concrete, here is the continuous footing forms, and then the slab on grade in building 11. Or we can see by floor. So we had 00, zero foundations, and then the slab on grade. WBS1, that was the straight time. Here's the CSI codes, where we're looking at 03, 1000 for forming, 2000 for reinforcement, 3000 for placement, and then we can see the work that is underneath each. These reports are starting points. You can change these to reflect the way that you would like to see the reports. Uh, report out the units or the pricing or however you would like. I've intended the, to, for these to be starting points only and for you to revise as you need. Now there's other videos that show other issues for the plugin. I've taken about seven minutes of your time and I thank you very much for your time to review this plugin. Thank you.